Hello everybody, this is Sebastian from the 1Q Club. I am very happy to be back. It is night here already. We had a very, very interesting and long day. Uh, this morning we went out with a truck trying to find Miguel's house. Um, if you don't know who Miguel is, go in our uh, history and find the video. It's called Miguel. It's um, a handicapped kid that we found here. He's 21 years old and he is begging for some money in the streets every day when there's a market. We found him a couple of months back and decided we want to go and see how he lives. So today finally was the day where we organized the car and we figured out where he is because we met him yesterday and he had a phone. So I had his number, which we had to get in order to get it. We had to go to a um, tienda here. It's a little shop where they put in money in your phone and stuff. And so they figured out what his number was. They gave it to me. And so today we could finally go. And with the help of two locals, one was the driver. And another one, Camila, she is um, a very nice person that helps us every now and then. Um, she helped us get there and especially talk with his mom because she was very, very skeptical and very scared, which is understandable because there's been stories that people bring stuff and um, don't really have the best intentions. So she was very skeptical. But after some talking, we could convince her that we really just mean to help. And um, so finally, we could go to his house and meet him. And it was so beautiful. To see his house he has a bed which is very nice they don't have electricity however but um, they do live in a nice tiny little house out in the middle of nowhere in a little village called aguas calientes which means hot water and they live amongst like coffee beans it's very dirty there's chickens and dogs walking around and um, they're very poor um, but i'm very glad to see that at least they have beds because the neighbors of them, they have two little kids and they don't even have beds to sleep in. So it's a very, very dire and tough situation. And this is just like one example. Anyway, so we did uh, visit him and we brought him a water filter. We brought him a whole bag of food and oranges and we brought some toys. And uh, very surprisingly, the little girls, they were super excited about the little cars that you could tow back. And then there's a little... Um, battery or something that charges and they go boom, forward and uh, they had a lot of fun playing with them. Um, I will release a video once I get to edit it, all the material I collected today. But so yeah, we brought also some clothes for little kids and uh, we'll bring some more tomorrow. Um, but also just like in other news, um, we're safe. I don't know if you've heard, but there has been a 6.8 earthquake uh, last night around midnight. Um, it shook us out of our beds, and it was quite intense, actually, and pretty scary. I've never been in uh, such an intense earthquake. 6.8 was quite um, intense, but as far as I know, there's only one person that died, unfortunately, but uh, thankfully, uh, not much more happened. So, but we're safe. However, though, the road is collapsed, and um, so we don't know if we can go back home this week and we will see if that works out or not but uh, so that's in the stars but anyways we're safe i just wanted to let everybody know and especially i want to celebrate the fact that we have 100 subscribers so thank you very much everybody who has subscribed especially the hundredth person i don't know who it is but thank you very much um, it means a lot it's very very encouraging to keep doing this um, when i see that people really enjoy it what we do so a big thank you to everybody that has subscribed and likes these videos and shares them. And um, yeah, so another day it was a beautiful sunny day here. And I hope you had a good day as well. I wish you a wonderful night, day, morning and see you soon. Goodbye.